Mara, can you say your name and where we are? I'm meditating. Um, my name's Mara Maddox, and we're at my apartment in Chicago. And how do we know each other? Ben and I, we've known each other since, I think, like, kindergarten plus? First grade? Sounds right, first grade. Since we were we young children? Six, I think. Five. We went to school together, but really we played music together. That's also true. We played, you played cello? Mm hmm played violin, played at weddings. Weddings. We played in the, in the Northwest Indiana Youth Symphony together. That's also true. And of course all the school orchestras. Slept. All the school orchestras. Where I slept. He did, he, he slept playing the violin. And I thought he was just really into it because his eyes were closed, but he was sleeping. You know how like when people watch me perform now and my eyes are always closed, I'm really sleeping. I can sleep and dance at the same time. Very talented. <laughs> um, so, I have two questions for you. The first is, knowing that, how has that experience of, because you don't play cello much anymore, right? But like, how has that, that, like you having started quite young and then like played all the way up until you stopped, like what, what, what do you think that that training of, cello has kind of had as an impact on like you today like how has it shaped you in a better or worse i love this way? question because growing up and playing music from a really young age and your brain working differently yeah. than not having um been able to read music or been able to see the world through music it's completely has has changed my life uh, can you give me like a, a, an example just Music is storytelling. So music is in everybody's lives every day. Okay, we mm. listen to the radio. Um, there's music playing in stores that we shop in. Um, y you see things differently when music is in your life, and and when you can see a story told through music, it forces you to think a completely different way. Yeah, I agree with you. I also, it, it was funny that you said that because, like, I I sometimes wonder if. Like the guys in the store, like do you think playlisters in stores, do they choose the music based that they like because they have to work and listen to it all the time? Or do you think there's like some sort of diabolical, like this music makes people want to buy stuff? I think it's both. Actually, I've, I saw something about this and there's whole teams of people in these big corporate stores. There's teams of people who are specifically there to make a playlist. Okay, so then we need to get in contact with those people. Yes. Uh, then the last, the last question is, so we have this album, Lose Your Ties, mm -hmm. and uh, we want to know, or I would like to know, uh, if you know a little bit about the theme, like how, how like my, what, what it meant for me and for us, but like, do you have something personal, like a personal connection to that theme in some way, or do you just have something insightful and that you would like to share? Yeah, I love when the name came out. Um, I loved it because obviously I've known you my really my entire life and I've saw you through those phases might, yeah. <laughs> of of you know what inspired it phase. with you and, and everyone else in the band. Um, yeah, of course I connect to that personally. Um, I've had a lot of different personal career changes. Mm -hmm. But I think um, in a broader uh, spectrum of, of ideas like you lose yourself in in your thought and in the music and the stories that you guys tell. Mm -hmm. um, music is about losing yourself and really um, anything that's inspirational, you lose yourself in. That's a good answer. So lose yourselves. Lose yourselves. Thank you for letting us stay with you in Chicago. Yes. It was cool to finally... We had so much fun. Mm -hmm.